Hello, with you blood recap today. I will tell you about the movie Solitary, enjoy tour watching. The world of the future, 2044, the world's population has increased dramatically. Isaac is just walking around the city, and the crowd recognizes him, shouting that it's him, and they start chasing him. He tries to hide in the warehouses of containers, where shooting opens on him. A guard appears, who is about to drive the men away, but gets shot in the chest. Isaac promises to get him out of here, but he is immediately detained, and a moment later he wakes up in a room in a mask of anesthesia. He doesn't remember where he is, or what's going on at all. Alana on the next bed, asks what the last thing he remembers. He replies that he was in the hospital, but it turns out it was a week ago. There is no way out of the room, and Isaac does not even remember why the court sent him here, but finds the screen and activates it with a fingerprint. His data appears on the screen, and an artificial intelligence named Eva greets him, telling him that they are on board their living capsule at an altitude of about 2,400 miles above the Earth. Isaac understands that they are in space. Eva explains that they do not levitate because magnetic implants are installed in the participants and metal plates in the floor and ceiling regulate gravity. Their goal is to create the first human colony by 2052. An accident occurred on board during the docking and the residential capsule made an emergency evacuation. Something crashes into their glass, a ship explodes nearby, and Isaac panics. They ask Eva to call all the compartments of the main ship, but there is no communication in all departments. They want to get through to Earth, where a man picks up the phone, he recognizes Isaac, and asks to tell them where they are, asking what they see in the illuminator, where an explosion at once occurs and Isaac disconnects. He wakes up in a decrepit room with a drink, he tries to leave the room, and is immediately woken up by Alana. Eva reports that they used one out of ten calls per month. Something crashed into the capsule, Alana finds a leak with the help of water. A second hole appears, and the splinter wounds Isaac, she seals the hole herself. The operator reports that they have descended from orbit, and asks to wait for the development of a plan, and they are straight to Earth. During sleep, a call rings, this is television, they brought out Isaac live broadcast, where he told the situation, and after the call he remembered everything. He shot a man, but he didn't want to do it. Alana sits on it because for what were they put together? But Isaac refuses, saying that he has a girlfriend. He tries to find out from Alana why she got here, but she will tell him later, and goes to bed. Isaac turns on the latest news. It turns out that the government is sending prisoners into space as experimental subjects in order to slightly reduce the population of the Earth, at least with some benefit. And the local company said it was ready to help rescue the crew with prisoners. They made a two-seat shuttle. We need a few more, and they are ready to launch a rescue operation. On the light side, Isaac gets a call from the main directorate and is told off for talking to the press, but soon they tell him to go into the capsule settings on the control panel to manually put the capsule into Earth orbit. They enter the data and the operator counts down until the settings are applied. The connection disappears, but Alana counts down herself and launches the capsule. The operator returns to the connection and informs that everything was successful, they will go into the shade for 45 minutes, so they should sleep, there will be no connection. He asks why she lied to the operator about the fact that Isaac woke up first, but she replies that she's not lying, and they go to bed. Isaac dreams of the room again, but this time a man comes into it with a gun, and errors appear on the control panel. Isaac wakes up, as if from suffocation, the operator is already in touch. Due to the disconnection of the batteries, it is very cold in the camera, but the sun should heat them up again, the operator reports. After a couple of seconds, the press call rings, but Isaac is not going to answer them, then they put pressure on him by saying that he destroyed the ship and he breaks down. It turns out that the girl was playing computer games and owed one guy, but didn't want to give them back, then Isaac sent her out of town, and he offered the guy to work for him to repay the debt, but when Isaac decided that he had enough, he just stopped contacting, and everything was quiet. But not for long, one of the mercenaries came to him and told him to return the money before 3 p.m., they know where she is hiding, if there is no money, she will die. Then Isaac killed the one he owed and stole his car. For this he was sent to court, where his sentence for his military service was slightly commuted, and he was told that he would serve his term in places of limited freedom, but he was immediately sent into space. After the story, Isaac decided to record an audio message to his girlfriend, and while he tells how everything was, she picks up the phone. 5. She says that it was stated on TV that everyone who flew into space voluntarily agreed to it, but Isaac denies it. He tells her that the guy he killed had money in his briefcase to pay back the debt for her. After the call, 
Isaac wants to know more about Alan. It turns out she killed four people because she's dependent to drugs and she didn't like the product. Alana says that she is experiencing pleasure with the murder, stating that Isaac is afraid to admit this pleasure because he will become like her. When the operator calls them, she starts acting that Isaac is trying to kill her and it was he who blew up the ship, they ask Isaac to move away and when the operator turns off, Alana declares that she saved them from slavery and when she calls the operator on a personal line, she says that Isaac confessed to what he had done but when he is about to stop her, she knocks him to the ground and twists the brush. She asks for help and hangs up, after a little fight with Isaac, she begins to strangle him, but there is a fire in the oxygen garden, oxygen drops to 17%, Isaac covers the fire with foil, they wake up at dawn and the operator informs that the rescue team will be very soon, Alana already sees them, they ask Isaac to turn on the automatic docking moat and countdown, the docking was successful and his ask to open the door, but some kind of error appeared, Alana says that they are not docked, and he wakes up, in front of him sits a breathless Alana, and he realizes that it was a dream, he asks Eve to launch the pressure and oxygen is supplied to the capsule, he calls the operator and informs that Alana is dead, and they answer that they saw on camera how Alana blew up the ship, they show us what happened before, the capsule docked with the ship, and the men told Alana that they had been lied to about a second chance, they were brought here to work and fulfill their desires, then Alana knocks both of them down, then connects them with handcuffs and asks them to get up, she goes out with them, and then an explosion is seen, and, like Alana, pretended that she had just woken up, the operator reports that he will not be able to help Isaac, the oxygen will run out before they arrive, then he asks the operator how many are the same as them, the operator replies that 49 criminals. He says goodbye to Isaac and disconnects, and Eva informs him that the last call is left. We are shown capsules, the same poor fellows who have fallen under the state stigma of slander and under these tortures. He asks Eve to toss a coin, tails fall out, then he decides to stay on the ship and not take risks because the chance of entering orbit is 20%. He wants to call his girlfriend, she says that they said on TV that everyone who returns will be pardoned, but Isaac replies that no one will survive, even himself, because there is oxygen left for several hours, they say goodbye and Alana appears behind, she is unhappy with Isaac's act and hits him with a stun gun, but he takes a balloon and a burner while she sends the ship to earth, she offers him two options, either he will have to fight her to death or help her kill those who sent them here, he grabs the taser and knocks her out, he puts her on the bed and gives her anesthesia, there are 20 seconds left before entering the atmosphere and he himself puts under anesthesia and they start entering the atmosphere. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like this video, we try to make videos as soon as possible, bye bye.